All right, this is Mr. Rugu Cat 45 again, and I'm here to show you some survival tips. And this one is on E and E gear. Uh, now, as you all know, uh, if you're in an E&E escape and evasion type situation or a SEER situation, survival, evasion, resistance, escape, uh, you may have lost all your equipment and gear and tools, or they may have been taken from you. Uh, if you're a special forces soldier, uh, maybe a recon, uh, and you got captured, maybe a pilot who bailed out over enemy territory, uh, there, there's a lot of potential scenarios, maybe even just a regular contractor, an army contractor or a civilian police, you know, contractor, security, whatever. Uh, there's a lot of people being captured now overseas, unfortunately. There we go. And uh, the potential for a E and E or a SEER situation is great now. Now, in case you do need equipment and tools and you don't have any well of course you're gonna have to you know make things like uh, e and &E equipment escape and evasion equipment um, lock picks and things like that um, there is something that's kind of ubiquitous and universal to pretty much anywhere you go in the world and that's cars and cars of course have windshield wipers so I'm sure y'all are wondering what in the hell am I doing with a couple of windshield wipers well I'll show you now in case you know if you're in an E and E situation you may have to take these by force and in a very uh, not stealthy way you may have to just literally grab them and rip them off of a car if you're in a hurry but whatever you know whatever it takes to get tools and since windshield wipers are pretty much standard on all cars nowadays, you're bound to find a car and thus windshield wipers somewhere. All right. I'll show you. When you do take a standard windshield wiper, they come in different sizes, of course, and different shapes and all that. On the very back part of it, the part that makes contact with the windshield there's a rubber strip there and this is what you're looking for that rubber strip take a hold of that and peel that off there you go see just pull that right off And right behind it is a couple of beautiful spring steel pieces. Take a look at that. Take a look at the, uh, if you all take a good look at the shape, they're almost exactly shaped like regular lock picks are. And it does not take much imagination or skill to bend these or turn them into lock picks or whatever any &E tools that you need to make. They're very springy, very tough, it's good decent steel. And uh, these come in different sizes, of course, I'll show you here. Uh, these aren't the same thing. So this is some of the shapes and sizes that these do come in. And certain ones are thicker and wider, like that right there, that one. That one is almost exactly shaped like a regular Slim Jim tool. You can see that how that's shaped and that's very 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 springy very flexible you can use that uh, all you need really is skill if you got some of this now I'm not trying to tell any gangbangers or any uh, hoodlums out there how to you know make E&E &E equipment they probably already know better than we do but uh, 
for you contractors or good guys out there, sheep dogs, whatever. This is what you can make it out of. And here's some other ones. And that, this one right here on the very end, that's almost exactly shaped like a Slim Jim. Now there's also other things you can use. Um, I'm not sure how prevalent this would be in other countries, but if you ever walk by the side of the road, uh, on the on the sidewalk or the part where the uh, road ends and the sidewalk begins, that little trough, little ditch there, sometimes you'll come across these little pieces of stiff metal. A lot of times they'll be all rusty, and I mean, you'll just see them a lot of times if you pay attention when you're walking. I do a lot of walking sometimes. Well, occasionally I do walk from work and I always pick these up. I've noticed these since I was a little kid and I've always wondered what they were. Well, they're street sweeper bristles and they're high carbon steel. I've seen people talk about using these for tools and things like that and uh, they do obviously harden if they're spring steel. They come in different lengths, different thickness and sizes. But if you can come across a couple of these or even one of these then you've got the materials to make some tools out of. I mean, E&E &E tools and lock picks aren't the only things you can make out of these. You can bend them, use them for fishing hooks. You can make small blades out of them. You can make awls out of them. Um, scribing tools. You can make a lot of different tools. You can make tweezers out of them. Uh, I don't even need to explain how to do that. But, again, if you have a car and windshield wipers and you've got the potential to have any &E tools so this is mr rude cat 45 y'all have a good day